It's starting now. Okay, really? Did you get it? Did you hit the button? Oh my goodness. Hey there. <laughs> the timer's going, so. Okay. Hey there, Floss Tube. This is Kathy, the hands on designer with. Bill, Mr. HOD. All right. Cheers. Are oh, you... wait. Oh, you're not. Falling down on the job. Really? I came prepared. But um, it's Friday. It's Friday, right? It is Friday. It's Friday. It's actually just a little after five o'clock. Boy, did we time this on purpose? Five o'clock somewhere. Okay. It's five o'clock here. Cheers. It's five o'clock here. Cheers. All right. A little happy hour. Join us for a happy hour. If you're watching this in the morning, grab your coffee. If you're watching it in the evening, grab your favorite beverage. What's your drink? It's from Mardo Brewing here in Sioux City. Mm -hmm. Great restaurant. Mm -hmm. Great beers. It's called Rod the Well Man. It's an American IPA. It's really good. They have a couple there that I really like. Mm -hmm. um, American Girl. Mm -hmm. I hear the dog coming. We, have, we might have it incoming here in a minute. We made sure we fed the animals before we started this because everybody was meowing and jumping. And Anyway, all right. So I hope everybody's doing okay. It's been a hot minute since we've done a floss tube. Mm -hmm. um, we actually filmed one two. Uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, we did it twice. It, we got these new microphones. My son got them for me for um, Christmas and they were wonderful. We got to figure out how to make them work. Yeah, that, <laughs> I, I, yeah I used one for um, a, um, a tutorial, tutorial. Mm -hmm. but going, you know, recording like this, we kind of, we did the entire video. It had no sound. No sound. Mm. <laughs> and we did it again. And and I don't know if you film these at all. It's like you do one. Okay. What? I blame Jason. <laughs> wow. Jason of uh, Lindy Stitches. I totally forgot about this. Um, when we did the, because we filmed it a second time. And it just, it wasn't, I don't know. We It just... <sighs> It wasn't it just the same. Doesn't come off as well. Yeah, and because we have often said, and in the re I'm joking when I say I, I blame Jason yeah. and um, Steph from Lindy Stitches because we were talking with them at market and we were talking about the floss tubes and you know filming them and there are there are Steph is all, she's the master of editing and making them hilarious and funny she's just so good at it and um, and Jason apparently said to Steph. How do Bill and Kathy do it in one take? Hmm. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do normally. <laughs> we, there have been two instances yeah, where, we've where had it to... just hasn't worked. And yeah. we, we just went, and eh, we'll try again <laughs> another day. <laughs> Never mind. And, and actually, that one we were trying to do right before we left on vacation. Mm -hmm. We did the two takes. By the time we got done with the second, it was so late at night. Honestly, we were just both really tired. And, and we weren't our happy peppy selves. <laughs> That's a nice and, way to put it. And, Especially yeah. when, we, when we ran it and oh. it had no sound. Yeah. <laughs> and so we, um, I, I said, I, I blame Jason. <laughs> I was trying to lighten the mood oh, in the moment. I haven't told him that. So shh, don't, 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 don't tell, tell him. him. That. Okay. Anyway. So, um, so yeah. So here we are with another one. Um, another floss tube. We, as we said, we were on vacation last, mm -hmm. last, last week. It was last week. It was last week. So last week we were still sitting on the beach at this mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It had been a couple years since we had gotten away for a vacation, like a trip that wasn't um, tied to a wedding or work. a teaching or work or, or whatever. So we were just like, we need a vacation. We'll do nothing. <laughs> and that's and what we, we did. did. It well. And we did it well. Yes, we did. And um, no, I was really super happy. Mm -hmm. and, and it was just, it was very relaxing. Um, I don't know that I've kind of gotten back into things. Are you saying you didn't get much done this week? Well, I... I you did. I did. Yeah, I wish I could show you what's been going on this I did. week. There's some great stuff. Um, this week, I feel like there's been a lot of announcements, a lot of fun news, mm -hmm. a lot of... Um, okay, so sometimes, if, if this is like your full-time job, um, I've talked to other designers, that kind of thing, and like they, you know... Um, um, Recently, I was talking to a, a, a designer, um, Sweet Wing Studio. Uh, we were talking because she was going from her 
day job and making Sweet Wing Studio her full-time job. And she, she's like, can I talk to you? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she asked me, what's a typical day like? And I was like, Oh man, how long you got? Mm. And I mean, it, there's no typical there's day. No typical there's day. no typical Which day. Which makes it great. Yes. Yeah. Um, so some days, some days you're doing, you're on the phone a lot because you're um, talking to different people. Maybe it's a supplier, a distributor. Uh, hey, you know, let's can we dye this? Can we do that? Mm -hmm. Can I get these colors? Um, and it's a lot of phone work. I know that sounds funny. Mm -hmm. um, other times it's just kind of brainstorming sometimes yes you are actually doing some sketching and soon doing some designing and sometimes, sometimes it's technology issues it's yes yeah, problems with the website problems with the shipping site problems with you know um yeah i just mean problems. just problems <laughs> so every day is a little different um so there are definitely days when i feel like i get to the end of the day and go man i did not mm -hmm. get much done but then if I look at it, I've gotten way better about this um, than I, he can tell you. You know, <laughs> I used to stress a lot more. Um, what you talking about? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like I, I kind of look at things and go, yeah, that's all part of it. You know, it's yeah. all part of it. So um, It all has to be done. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what we thought we would do, okay, let's, should we talk first about some of the big, some of the announcements, sure, some of the fun yeah. things happening? Yeah, yeah. Um, we are going to have get to cross stitching. We promise we will. Um, and, uh, but let's see, let's, what's been going on. Okay. Got back from vacation. Did you see the video on, um, my page and, uh, Instagram and, um, uh, Facebook and also Lindy stitches and I think Teresa Kogut shared it. And then also the jingle ball, um, uh, has has its own page now, so make sure you go give that a follow. Um, but uh, Steph had gave us our first assignment um, before a couple weeks before we left on vacation um, of what we had to film and turn in, and she just comes up with the best ideas. I just I love them. That was um, a great video. And so hopefully it's Jingle Ball XS um, is the is the Instagram page. Um, I will you know tag it below in the comments. So definitely please go check it out. Follow it. Um, and, uh, and, or, and, and give each one of the five, the designers, um, this year's 12 designers of Christmas. So yay. I'm excited to say I'm back in it. Year three, mm -hmm. pretty excited about it. Um, it's such a great event. Yeah, it is a great event, but the video is funny because we've got two new designers this year and there's a guest appearance by our dog Daisy. <laughs> And it only took two treats to get I know, it done. Oh, yeah. She was, was really, was, she's, she did, she's very treat motivated. Yeah, so yeah. it was very easy to do. Yeah, yeah she funny. did a really good job. So just make sure you um, give the Jingle Ball Access account an account, mm -hmm. uh, a follow, um, because that way, um, I think, I, I haven't been to the website in a while, but I'm sure if it's not, it will be updated soon with like what date the tickets go on sale mm -hmm. and all that kind of good stuff. I know um, I'm working hard on my class already, mm -hmm. and as are some of the other designers, because we kind of had to start um, kind of putting out there like what we were planning. It's not that it's set in stone, but what we're trying to avoid, and believe it or not, with this, we haven't had this problem at all um, up till now, as far as like a design, like two designers both wanting to do a B score new or something like that. There's, no um, there's been no, yeah, exactly. That's the right way to put that is no overlap. So, um, but I think Steph kind of wanted us to sort of, sort of kind of, if we, if we knew like, like generally, um, mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm doing, I'm in the experimental phase of my, <laughs> she's in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm making prototypes. So. Out of smoke and explosion. Yeah. So. <laughs> Did you smell that the other day? <laughs> Something blew up. <laughs> no, and, and I guess I should say, we're actually sitting, we've never done a video from here before. Um, and there's a reason why we're sitting here. But so that's kind of like my work area behind us. Um, so, and Bill's office is over the, the packing and the that's shipping. That's the and boring the, part of the, the whole thing. That's the important part. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so, okay, so we had the Jingle Ball announcement. I'm not going to tell you the other names. Um, we have two new ones this year and um, they've joined the group and still 12 of us. And um, 
So go watch the video. It's a lot of fun. Um, we play, play a little. Check it out. Telephone. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and then what else has been going on? Um, just different, like stitch alongs. Stitch -alongs. Some announcements um, have been kind of made. Of course, you know, the HOD Spring Folk Stitch Along kind of is wrapped up, but still, you know, um, Sarah is, you know, she's keeping an eye on everything. Um, and People I'm, are we, still posting. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I've seen a few more finishes. Mm -hmm. I think Allison finished hers. Uh, she posted about it. Um, so I, I, a huge thank you to Sarah for leading off the first um, Spring Folk, the Stitch Along for the Four Seasons Folk series. And I'm just, I'm so thrilled to see everybody stitching and finishing and just watching what you do with them. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, be sure to give that a, a hashtag and a follow. And then, um, so then we'll have new releases coming out here soon. So summer will be coming out. And mm -hmm. um, Shari, or my friend Shari, has agreed to run the stitch along for that. So we'll have another one. I think the stitch alongs are fun. It keeps people mm -hmm. motivated and... Um, I was amazed to see the different different fabrics people use. Mm -hmm. And how fast? Oh, I know. They they were stitching. I'm like, this is crazy. Well, okay. I'll be honest. I was a little, I okay, was a lot nervous before I released this because it was something a little different for me, mm -hmm. and and but not in a bad way. Right. Um, I had so much fun because I did stitch all the models. Right. That's unu mm -hmm. unusual, but I was making a lot of changes as I went, that kind of thing. I had so much fun like doing a little rope, and then it was like. Okay, mm -hmm. I can't wait to do that. Okay, let's do another row. Oh, let's do another row. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I hope stitchers have as much fun doing that as I did. Mm -hmm. And they, and you really did. Um, I saw different posts basically saying, you know, I couldn't put it down. I just wanted to keep going. So, and, I, and, the, and the number of stitchers that were concerned about the specialty stitches, and once they got into it yep. and looked at these, they're like, I don't know what, I was so worried about. They yeah. took care of it yeah. and it all looked great. Yeah. So there is um, just, there is now a floss tube for the specialty stitches for mm -hmm. spring folk. And then there is now a floss tube for the finish of the entire piece, right. mm -hmm. which is that will be the way I finish all of them. Um, and then I'll do a, a new video for each season with the specialty stitches. Um, mm -hmm. And so that'll be coming up here pretty soon. And I demonstrate how to do it on linen and Ada. Um, one question that we are getting a lot is um, how much linen? Is mm -hmm. it gonna be on the same color? Yes, it's gonna be on the same color. Um, Birchwood Fabrics by Stephanie. And a fat half is a good enough size if you're gonna stitch all four. You'll have a little bit of extra, um, but it's a great color. So mm -hmm. ornaments, um, smalls, you name it. Um, it's really, I mean, if it was like chartreuse, I'd be like, sorry. <laughs> you're stuck with <laughs> chartreuse. But no, this is a, just a great, just deeper neutral, which mm -hmm. looks good with so much. Um, my hair is going weird. I don't know. <laughs> I also wanted to film the video today because I had. If my I hair. had hair, it'd probably go weird too. Because <laughs> I I went to the hairdresser earlier today, so of course I'm like when I leave from her and my hair looks good, I'm like oh, we gotta do a video today. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, so, I did not. Of course, it will not look nice and flat like this when I do it. So yeah. that's okay. It's okay. But um, okay. So what else do we have? Um, well, you mentioned Shari Stitch Along. Mm -hmm. Then there's Chantel. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, that was a loud swallow. <laughs> I drank. I Settle down over there. Took a little too much. Yeah. Okay, so Chantal in one of her YouTube lives, mm -hmm. um, her it's like a Stitch With Me video that she does on, what night was that she was texting me? Is it Wednesdays? I think it's Wednesdays. Yeah, um, she uh, go to her page on her on Instagram and Facebook and join the group, and um, I'm doing a special project with her, mm -hmm. and she's been posting a couple kind of very vagueish sneak peeks. So go to her page and check them out. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's she kind of commissioned me to do this. Um, fun design mm -hmm. and it's um kind of a her birthday is in june so it's kind of a 
I don't want to give all the details away, but um, it's going to be a kit and it's going to be my design and it's going to have one of her items for finishing. It's 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 so cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't exactly know when, a lot of things are still being worked on, so I don't know exactly when it's going to right. be announced, mm -hmm. but um, she kind of pulled, um, well, she was, she, she said if she had a, at least 150 people on her live by the end of the live, um, she was going to talk about it. Mm. And then she was going to poll them to see if you all wanted a pre-order ability or just like order, like we'll have somebody made and used order. Um, and it's, it's really fun. It's so it's going to be kind of a fun birthday birthday stitch along for her to celebrate her birthday yeah. so um i am looking forward to that one it's just it's a fun piece so and then of course who else do we have stitch alongs with um nicole mm -hmm. um nicole spore is she's i think they're done stitching now the beast cornu and that but now they're working on the finishing mm -hmm. um so i think they've got like one more week on that don't quote me um i have to go check out the her recent uh, floss tube. Um, and I just, I love the way everybody's Beast Corn you. Of course, they mm -hmm. took my triple play pillow, um, pillows and made them into, um, instead of the, the pillows, Nicole wanted to learn how to make a Beast Corn you. Mm -hmm. And so she's like having this stitch along. And again, I just, I love, so many are changing colors. Like Nicole actually changed the colors yeah. for spring. Mm -hmm. She used the colors from spring folk yes to mm -hmm. do her because my model was with in purples and she's like it's beautiful but purple wasn't her thing so mm -hmm. she loved the colors i picked for spring folk mm -hmm. so she just did that so it, and and it turned out really really and nice beautiful mm -hmm. and then she's doing one of the summer pillows on charcoal mm -hmm. it is so pretty mm -hmm. it's so pretty so i just loved seeing everybody's beast corn use and you know, learning something new and and it's just it's been a lot of fun so um check her out and again i will link both those accounts below and um plus you mentioned we have new releases coming out we have new releases one more thing about nicole oh okay i have, I have another project i'm working on with her oh that's right and that's all i can say you're gonna like this one <laughs> it's really new so, yeah i'm i'm <laughs> no, it's it's really cool. <laughs> anyway, new releases. Okay, I'll 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 divulge too much, and I can't. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to go very well the rest of the video. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh. So what do we have for new releases? We have um. Well, three we could basically kind of talk about. Um, in one kind of I ha I haven't hint. Well, I've started to hint a little bit. Um, we've got the next in the summer folk mm -hmm. and I've been, if you've been on a couple of the lives and things like that, I've actually given them a sneak peek mm. of that. Mm -hmm. So, um, not really a sneak peek. They saw the whole thing. <laughs> yep. Um, and then the next in the gather round series, mm -hmm. which would be gather butterflies mm -hmm. for summer. And then the next in the small gatherings mm -hmm. that is gather memories mm -hmm. so um that's just the real small one i put in the frame i'm i i just i love those stitches mm -hmm. they're so sweet um and then what else i have one more i i sneaked a peek of it yesterday that was i think yeah. yeah so um i will only do sneak peeks until i send out information to the shops mm -hmm. um because i like them to be warned. I used to own a shop, so nothing irritated me more. <laughs> okay, maybe irritates a strong word. Um, but yeah. when people would, <laughs> people yeah, would you're probably there. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> people would come in and go, "Oh my gosh, look what I found online!" And I'm like, "I don't. I I hadn't heard about that yet." <laughs> yeah. or, you know, it's like I so saw. I want the shop owners to have knowledge you know so if you go to them and say hey there's that new one my hands-on design then they know what you're talking they know about. it you know um they know what you're talking about and um and a lot of them have done automatic programs for the three series mm -hmm. the four seasons folk the small gatherings and then the gather round um so and yes all the previous seasons in those series are are definitely still available so if mm -hmm. you're just jumping on now you can still get spring um, 
And then I have one more. And I'll just say this, it's Christmas. Because mm -hmm. Christmas in July is probably coming soon. And I know a lot of you stitch that. I know a lot of you just stitch Christmas all year round. Year round. Um, somebody commented on my, um, uh, my Christmas peak. Oh my gosh, we're not ready for that yet. And they wanted more beach charts. They wanted more beach charts. Okay. Oh, that's coming. Um, what do you think I designed this week? You're bad. horrible. <laughs> um, I see, I, don't I'm, tell her a secret. No, don't. don't. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not good at that. But it, it, I'm not good at secrets that are my own. Yes, that's good. That's <laughs> I, I'll keep true. your secret. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, so it is a Christmas. But because people stitch Christmas all year round. Oh, yeah, they do. So, you know, you got to get ready. Um, so that's coming out, what, we're, we're notifying shops next week, and then we start shipping the following week. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pretty soon, very, very soon, actually next week, you'll start seeing full views of yeah. all the new releases. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, as soon as, literally, as soon as I hit send and go to the shops, we do um, show pictures. Yep. So lots of fun things coming up. There's just, whew. So the big thing is to... Pay attention to the socials and mm -hmm. sign up for the Stitcher newsletter. Yes. Because yep. we've been sending more of those out. Trying and, to be a lot better, yeah. And it lets you know what's going on. Let you know right. about new releases. Because I know sometimes... Stitch along. Yeah. And all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, another fun thing. Okay, so we don't really have anything... You know, we'll do the new release video next week, probably, or, you know, maybe shortly after that. Because mm -hmm. we have to go out of town again next week. Yeah. Um, it is the state games for Special Olympics, Iowa, the summer games. The summer games. Mm -hmm. um, so Bill and I are the tennis coaches, as we've mentioned before, and so our team is ready. Mm -hmm. um, we just got the the lineups. We got scheduled um, today. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, we <laughs> are the t-shirts down here. No. No, they're not. Okay. So every year we get new t-shirts for the team, um, and this year we've been threatening to get. Um, we've done green. Well, the, the we've key. done white. We've done. The kids want tie dye, and I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not wearing tie dye. <laughs> they wanted tennis ball yellow last year, and I tried to get tennis ball yellow last year. The best we could get was kiwi green, um, and they were pretty. It was but okay. Yeah, it was okay. Um, but this year, safety yellow. Yeah. Yep. You're gonna need sunglasses. Yep. These you, things you, are right. You are gonna see our team coming. <laughs> So we've and got, love it. yeah, we've got how many? We've, we've got um, four different divisions, four different, five different, four or five. We I have don't players whatever. in four different divisions, and then um, and then we'll have a, um, a we have a doubles team, and so we've been running practices. Everything is early this year. Is it yeah. the leap year? Mm -hmm. Is it? I don't um, know what because normally this would all be like a, a week, week later. Later, mm -hmm. it's usually like over Memorial Day weekend, but. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm excited. I did not get to go last year mm -hmm. because I got COVID at the last minute. Um, so you ran the entire mm -hmm. team. You were coach for everybody last year and you did an amazing job. So I will be glad to have help. Yeah. I, I'm excited. It was okay. Yeah. I'm excited to be there. I'm we excited to not have COVID. <laughs> we have a lot of parents and caregivers that help out yes. too. So yeah. Our, we the athletes on our team are just there's a few that didn't do it this year and we really miss them. A lot of times, unfortunately, it might be like a schedule, a work schedule. Work schedules. Yeah. Um, or if they're participating in other sport, they can't, you know, the sports overlap. Yeah, certain so. sports are at the same time on the same day, so they have to yeah. make a choice. So we should probably talk about a little bit of cross stitch, should we? Is that why we're on here? <laughs> okay, so we we do want to share something with you. Um, you know, you guys know hopefully by now that we like to do a lot of philanthropic work. Um, mm -hmm. Make, you know, whether it's um, selling a, a kit or a chart where mm -hmm. we can donate the proceeds, that type of thing. And I feel like I've seen a lot more groups mm -hmm. and um i know cecilia from heart and hand just did an amazing With habitat for humanity yep. that was a big deal she yeah. had a, a lovely donation um I don't know, other fact people. Quarter shop does yeah, it, Fat Quarter does Shop does. Um, with, uh, donations they always have something going on. So I love that about our industry that um, you pay it forward. Mm -hmm. Just pay it yeah. forward. And like, for example, with us, you know, the Narwhal, 
design is always that is that is forever a donation piece mm -hmm. so we donate the entire eight dollars um on that so mm -hmm. far we've given about around sixteen thousand dollars between the chart and then um uh thankfully for lois of lady dot creates mm -hmm. she created the narwhal um scissor fob and yeah. then um that was a huge surprise i didn't know she was going to do that <laughs> And um, a huge welcome surprise. Yeah, and then um, we're about ready to do our next donation. In, for the narwhal. For mm -hmm. the narwhal. Yeah. And it's probably, you told me the other day, but I can't remember. But it's another nice chunk. We waited a little bit longer because, you know, obviously sales have, you know, slowed a little bit. But, but so we still want to give a nice big mm -hmm. donation. So, yeah. um, so I will be sure to post that when we do that. So. Um, I'm pretty excited about it, but so we were contacted, oh gosh, a while ago oh, excuse me. from a group in the Northeast. They call themselves, um, the library stitchers and they were having a retreat. Um, mm -hmm. and they're in, um, the, they're up in Maine, they're in Maine. and, mm -hmm. um, and so they, I know we weren't the, we, they had a number of trunk shows yep. at their, um, retreat and basically, so it's different, like it, it's, you know, it was organized by individuals. It wasn't mm -hmm. like a shop or, you know, a guild or something like that. But what they wanted to do is have the trunk shows as a way, as a fundraiser mm -hmm. um, to do. So they ended up, I don't know, I honestly I don't know how many um, trunk shows there were. But we got this lovely little, oh, wrong way, thank you note from the library stitchers when we got our uh, models and everything back. And it said, thank you so much for sending a trunk show to our retreat. It's because of you and your donation. We were able to raise $9,500 for the literacy volunteers of Maine, which I think is awesome. I think it's great. I think they're just, just thrilled. So, um, so they have a retreat. They have these trunk shows. Mm -hmm. And the proceeds that they make from the trunk show, they donate to this group. Mm -hmm. And it's... I think ah, it's awesome. That's great. I think it's awesome. Just awesome. So... Um, I kind of had this idea, like, okay, we need to do a video, but what are we going to do? Because so far it's just us talking and that probably gets a little boring. Um, but, um, does it get boring? I don't know. I'm, do I'm doing okay. <laughs> You're not bored? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not asleep, so I'm okay. Mm. It's a little warm down here. Mm. Um, so, um, so many people do unboxing videos like mm. you know you got your box of the month or whatever and you do unboxing so we thought well this is kind of our version of unboxing that one? <laughs> unboxing okay. you know yeah go for it no <laughs> <laughs> i'm not saying it. so we have this huge box here unfortunately we can't have it up on the table or you you wouldn't see us <laughs> <laughs> so we literally have not um unpacked it yet it's nope. been sitting on the coffee table um we have kind of a little area we had to rearrange a little bit but um in the studio you can see we're sitting on these lovely orange chairs um this is kind of our it's our conference room right mm -hmm. i guess that's what we call it i don't know but um something like that. <laughs> it's not a conference room <laughs> Okay, well, all right. Um, but uh, so we thought we would sit here. So I have the box like right here, but we thought we're going to unpack and just show you what we sent away on a trunk show. And maybe you get to see a model you haven't seen before or um, something you stitched and go, hey, I stitched that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, literally, like, sorry, and they'll beat some crinkle, crinkle, and all that good stuff. And um, all right, you want to you wanna do that first one? You want to like... You know, pull one out. There's all kinds of great stuff. Here. Yeah. We send a lot. When I send a trunk show to like retreats and things like that, I try and send a lot of models. Fortunately, a lot of my models are small and petite. So, oh, you do have a lot. Okay. So this is Love My Stitching. This is like, what is this? HD 10. 10. So this is an early girl. This is, I, all of our charts get a number, um, HD, hands on design. Um, and then a number. And so HD 10, you know, so this of course, um, it, it's got instructions to make the bag. This was a, my very, one of my very first collaborations with Karen Torres of so much to love S E W much M U C H and the number two, two. L U V. Um, and she does this great block, uh, bag of the month. Um, each year, I, I think almost every year she's done it. I've done a chart for it. I just, mm -hmm. 
getting ready to send one for the next one. Yep. Anyway, so fun bag. Um, I have seen that done in so many colors. I love it. Every time I go teach at a retreat, somebody always, can I show you my bag? And it's the coolest thing ever. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So this is, um, this is gonna, like, I'm gonna have to be on my game trying to remember everything. House on a Hill, this um, four season series. And this is the summer cottage. And uh, what did I call it? Which one? The, the summer cottage. The summer night has a smile of light. I can't remember. So I found like for each one of these, I found like a really beautiful but obscure quote. And that's kind of, I had to only take part of it. Um, and that's what's along the bot around the edge. And, um, and this mattress finish. So finish just like the block parties. Um, there's four seasons. This is, and each one is a house because it's called House on a Hill. And uh, we've got a little Cape Cod um, uh, sh uh, salt or shaker house. Um, and then each one has a, a, a fob that goes with it. And of course, the wool for the patch, the grassy, the grassy patch is um, included. And, um, and of course, just another button company came up with um, finishing instructions. So, buttons. all right. All right, I, buttons, pins. pins sorry. sorry, I came up with the finishing instructions. <laughs> so anyway, so here's another one. Uh, this is Came This Spring. This one says, Came This Spring in All Its Splendor. And of course, this one's kind of more like a salt box style house. Mm -hmm. And each one has a little scissor fob and finishing instructions on how to do it. And that one actually I taught as a class. I, that was a, that's how I started this series. Mm -hmm. I taught it in Sandwich, Illinois. That's right. Um, which I say that you're like, what does that matter? That's where my dad grew up. Yeah. <laughs> I used to go there as a little girl to see my grandparents. Mm -hmm. um, is it, was it country cup? No. The shop was in Orland Park, mm -hmm. Illinois. Mm -hmm. What was it? She's she retired. I don't recall. Let's see. Wasn't Country Cupboard? Was it Crossed Crossed Cupboard? Might have been. Okay. Anyway, Barb, Barb, lovely shop owner. Um, she invited me, and I remember when she said to me, "Well, it's in this place. You probably never heard of it, but it's Sandwich, Illinois." I just started laughing because I'm like, "Yeah, heard of it. Been there <laughs> many times." <laughs> So it's kind of fun because then I was able to stay an extra day and I met up with my, I stayed with my cousins and kind of hung out and, you know, I don't know. Um, anyway, so this is fourth from the block party. I know, and this is one of your favorites because you like that guy right there. I like the eagles. Yeah, we like the eagles. And this eagle pen. Oh, that yeah. is like one of the coolest pins that Cecile has ever designed, yeah. I think. It's my favorite. I know it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, and maybe hold off to these to see if I have the other parts. Okay. You know, we can show them all together. And then this is part of Well-Rounded. Well-Rounded includes 12 different round designs and they're graduated in size. So we've got big, medium, baby um the whole idea is that if you stick them kind of in a, a basket or something like that you know you can kind of um nest them overlap them but because they're different sizes you're not completely hiding the right. one behind it so that's why those are three different sizes there's always a reason why i do those things so and that i believe is on chocolate milk fabrics by stephanie lady dot creates um trim all right what else do we got in the box All right, is there anything in that one feels heavy? Is there something inside that? Uh, oh. Nope, okay. <laughs> okay, so that is Enjoy the Stitch. Of course, that is one of Chantal's boxes. It's a it's a nice box. I it like really the, the hinge it's, on it. it. It goes together really well. Yeah, and then that has this coordinating little pin cushion. And with this one, I included, there's a magnet in here and there's a magnet in there too. And hopefully it doesn't fall out. <laughs> it does. It's not. You're good. <laughs> so that's enjoy the stitch, um, which is a fun one because that's one of the hashtags I like to use. Besides hashtag st stitch some happy, I like to do hashtag enjoy the stitch. And that has Lois's. Yep. That's um, Lady Dot Creates uh, Rick Rack. That's also Fabrics by Stephanie. And it is DMC. 
So very easy to switch out colors. All right, what else do we got? Oh boy. Okay, do you wanna unpack that one? Sure. So this is our version of an unboxing. So once we unbox all this, guess what? I don't have to guess. <laughs> we get to I know. Put it away. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Gosh, I forgot what all we. Tell you what, these models they they work for a living. Um, they okay. Well travel. They are. They travel more. They log more miles than we do. Um, so this is Stitch in the Garden. It's a cute little. It's a tray. And it's a fabric tray. And then another little um, mattress style pin cushion. And it does come with the little wool felt penny to make that tomato there. And I believe the, all the instructions are included to make this little tray. Um, this is a fun piece because remember where I first taught that? This was a class first. Do you remember where we did that? No. It's the farthest I've ever traveled to teach a class. In the Netherlands. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so Anamique, um, our friend Anamique owns De Handwerk Boutique. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not going to say the name of the town. <sighs> well, that's where the train came in. That's oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so we flew overseas. We went through Iceland and I taught this class. Um, I had such a lovely time. I wrote a yeah. blog post about it. Um, and uh, and it, it was great. Great people. Oh, my gosh. Really it was time. so much fun. Yeah. Um, Thankfully, a lot of them spoke English because me, no Dutch, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> if I tried to say a city name, I got weird looks from a lot of I people. I know. Because, <laughs> yeah, because we, we kept laughing because, like, uh, uh, we, our train brought us into Hunigan. And it's like, yeah, I know I'm butchering that. By, I completely you know. Americanized the name yeah. and the, the poor people at the train station looked at me like I was <laughs> insane. And then, um, and then Buzz, block party. And you've got another block party there. And so, and the fun thing I remember, I, I just made me think about this. Um, when I was gone teaching, um, when we were over in the Netherlands, um, after the class, and that's Vino, so we got Buzz and Vino, um, we did, uh, she had us do a meet and greet back at the shop uh -huh. after the class. Mm -hmm. And um, it was fun because uh, one gal came in and her young daughter was a stitcher okay. and she had done all the block parties yeah. and she really wanted to come and meet me and share them and show them. And that was so cool. And, um, and she did, she actually spoke really English really well. Mm -hmm. And so it was fun to be able to communicate. Yeah. And, um, and I, I just, uh, even though, um, you know, not everybody spoke English. Mm -hmm. It was, it was really fun because I'm teaching a class. I had sent my instructions on to Anamique at well ahead of time and she translated them all into Dutch. Uh -huh. And so a lot of times during the class, how I started is I spoke and then Anamique spoke and translated everything yeah. I said. And it was, it was such a fun experience. It was. Um, it was a and good time. met some people. I'm still Facebook friends with some of them. And mm -hmm. uh, even though, I mean, that was, what was that? Seven years ago? Six years ago? Six years ago. Six years ago. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, love to do it again. Um, anyway, so do we have any others that go with that? Or should I pull something else? Um, I don't think so. Okay, all right. Let's pull something else then. You want to get that? I hope you settled in because we brought a lot of... We packed a lot of models. So a lot of hair. Here's this. Okay, oh yeah, that's a fun one. You know, I forget about that little guy every once in a while. I mean, we're, you know, that one, the HD 10, I mean, what are we up to now? We're in the 300s. Yeah. So, whew, the lot of jars. Okay, so this is a, this is one of the first little um, pin cushions in a basket that I did, because he's, uh, Stitching by the Sea is a pretty early design too. Um, so it's a little pin cushion, and then, um, and then show the bottom of that one too. And I just, I love the way this all just mm -hmm. comes together. So, um, it, and the side of the but the basket says, um, Stitching by the Sea is where I long to be. Yep. And um, so, very just fun. The finishing instructions are included. Just sweet. And then um, I include, I finished mine with this awesome pin set from Just Another Button Company. So, still available. 
That's an early one too. I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but you're better at that than I am. Do you remember? 40 something. I was thinking 45. Yeah. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, you want to do those? Sure. And we got a bunch of the, the fruit basket, the fruits from the fruit basket, uh, blueberry and blackberry. Did we send strawberry? strawberry? Maybe it's still in there. It might be in there. Let me look to see what else we've got. Okay. And so we've got three in that series, the berry basket, and we'll have more coming. Yep. So I don't know when, but we will. <laughs> um, what do we want to do next? How about this one? Okay. Ooh, and then this one. Oops. Sorry. And then now we've got all the pieces for this one. Okay. Okay, go ahead and do them. Okay, so we've got two newer designs. These came out at market. Gather at the Table and um, Liberty Pennies. And so this is the series that has no name because I've been designing so many round things lately. And just because I love the shape, it's mm -hmm. fun to design for. And I purposely am making them all kind of the same size. Um, so just because we are selling the rounds, we have finishing kits. Uh -huh. We have the round, the, they're the laser cut rounds. Four and three eighths. Four and three eighths. So I am now calling it the four and three eighths series. <laughs> because, you know, I just, because, because saying, oh, I designed another one for that series, it doesn't have a name. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of got hard it's to say. It's a little long. It does. It's a little unwieldy. So this is now the four and three eighths series. And you're probably, if you're wondering, like, well, why would you do that? It's, because as I said, I love designing for this size and I love designing, you know, but I didn't want to get locked into like, they're all on this, they're all on this linen right. or they you know, like some have words, some don't. Um, it's not necessarily seasonal. Yeah. No, I just, you know, I, I, I'm just having fun with them. Um, okay. I'm going to They have the, the JABC pins. Yes. The top. This one has the acorn. That one's got the little the flag. flag yeah. um, this is on Fabrics by Stephanie. Actually, they're both Fabrics by Stephanie. Mm -hmm. um, the Gather at the Table. Definitely more. I brought it out at... Can you fix that? Yep. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. I've been sitting here wrestling with it, and you just fixed it. <laughs> Nobody was injured. Okay. Whew. Um, no, but with the rounds, like the gather at the table, I mean, obviously it's a little bit more fallish, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving-ish, you know. Um, but um, yeah, that's with DMC. The Liberty Pennies is with Weeks Dye Works. And mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think they're just fun. I kind of do it when there's inspiration. And um, I just did two more this week. You do have a lot of fun. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay. This is... Homestead Gathering. Okay, this one's kind of tough to hold up. Okay, let's try it this way first, and then we'll break it down. <laughs> Here you go. Oh no, oh no, I'm losing the foot. Careful, I gotta glue that. Okay, um, so okay. yeah, sometimes the casualties happen in shipping. So this is Homestead Gathering. This came out last fall. Mm -hmm. It's got four different pieces in it, plus the finishing instructions. The tray, it's this really cool tray from April at um, April in Alabama. I always have, I don't know why I just say April in Alabama and today's her birthday. Um, so happy birthday, April. Oh, sorry. And uh, she made the tray and this block. Um, so the, the bottom I lined with um, fabric. Now this is fabric from my friend Julie's collection. Um, uh, Cause I did originally did this as a small um, um, club with Julie during 2020. Uh -huh. And um, so it, and we used her very first fabric collection. So she's with um, that's Julie. She's the one that does the, me and my stitches. Oh, gosh, yes. I was going to be yes. so embarrassed if I couldn't remember her name, uh, her company name. She, if you ever see me post the ruler boxes, yes, I get them from her. She makes awesome ruler boxes. But anyway, so April made this box and so when we were talking about it, I knew I wanted kind of like a tray. So if it's sitting there, you know, you can just kind of put your stuff in it. I'm big on, like, I talk about this in my classes a lot, a place for everything and everything in its place. Um, and so I just love having a place to put things. And then, do you want to hold that? Mm -hmm. And then when I did the, um, the, the sampler, I, 
she showed me this little block mm -hmm. and we both kind of went, you know, this could be kind of cool. So mm -hmm. the block comes with the tray. And so what's kind of neat is I actually did put a magnet in there. So a, a pin or if it's sitting there, you know, it sits inside, it sits nicely inside the tray. And then you could take it out when you're at your spot sitting stitching and set this there and there is a magnet in mm -hmm. here and so you could rest your scissors or a needle or you know just so like if you're if you got to get up and walk away and do something you won't lose your needle or like me you put it here and then when you go to take your shirt off at the end of the day it's ah, you know <laughs> not that i've ever done that <laughs> but i just and even if you're like but i like it just like this on this block because it's nice and wide it could just stand mm -hmm. You know, and I just, you know, tuck it on a shelf. It's small enough. I, maybe that's what about four by four, five by five, something like that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so the sampler's included. This is, I just love this one. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pinwheel. I just love the colors and the motif. And this is DMC on raw, 32 count raw. And then we had um, a pin, uh, excuse me, a scissor fob. Just love that B skip. So that goes in there. And then also a little pin cushion. And then the way I finished mine, I put a pocket at the back. Um, sometimes it just, you know, it just adds a little something. They're just kind of fun. And those are pumpkins. <laughs> Somebody asked me if they were pumpkins or tomatoes. Make them red, you can call them tomatoes. Mine are orange. Pumpkins. They're pumpkins. So lots of fun with that one. Homespun, homestead gathering on that mm -hmm. one. How many do we have left? Yikes. Okay, we better get going. I gotta stop talking. Yeah. Imagine that. Okay. Let's talk stitching. And the there's the large sampler. I didn't send that, but the bag and then the um the pin cushion. And there is a video on how to do pin cushion. The pattern for the bag is available from the gals at Simple Stitches um, Fabric Shop. Mm -hmm. You can purchase the hard copy or as a download if you wanna make this bag. I made this bag. You can too. All I was gonna say. Yeah, the pattern, the, the stitchers have really enjoyed the pattern. Yeah, they yeah. Said it's, it's a good pattern. So. so, all right, I'm waiting for some of those. Here, you wanna get that? Mm -hmm. Boy, we found a lot in this trunk show. It is. Okay, that is one of the market releases called um, Simple, excuse me, Gather Blessings from the Small Gatherings series. So, um, and that's the one we have, the next one's coming out next week. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna find the, what's happening is we're trying to make sure things are grouped together. So it's not very confusing here. You wanna get that one because I see some things that we can, <laughs> okay. Oh, more pillows. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So this fun pillow is called Beach Please. Um, and yes, you gotta be careful how you say that. Uh, so just fun, teeny tiny little motifs. Just, and then I just did the Beach Please at the bottom. I have found this fun fabric and a little um, goldfish rickrack from Lady Dot DMC on, I believe it's platinum. And I just did a fun pillow finish. I kind of, I, um, I quilted the fabric. Just, I knew it was gonna be a slightly bigger pillow. This is probably about nine by nine, 10 by 10, probably 10 by 10. So I wanted to give it some stability with the cotton fabric, so I quilted it and, um, and just had some fun with it. So there's yeah. also the shadow box. I didn't send this shadow box. Yeah. I don't let that one travel because that hangs in our house and shadow boxes are hard to, you know, um, to travel. So, oh, you want to do that? Pocket neighborhood. I just love smalls. Can you tell? So these two are both in the same um, charts. We've got the pocket neighborhood. And do, do we include the, the house next door? And this is the house next door. Um, and do we, I can't yeah. remember, do we include the wool felt? No. We don't? Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy to find wool felt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this, um, I kind of, one of my inspirations for this was um, a couple summers ago, I had to spend some time in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and um, 
we were cleaning out my sister's house and she lived in a part of Pittsburgh. I grew up in Pittsburgh and where there's a lot of row houses and some of Pittsburgh has kind of gone through a whole gentrification process. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of it has, um, but we, I would pass by these really neat houses and that was kind of the inspiration. So imagine this is like if you're, you know, driving by and this is if you're walking by, you get a better view of the house. <laughs> so just some fun colors. This here. Oh, okay. And another little pillow. Um, this is called Over Two. Mm -hmm. Do you know who wrote that? No. It says stitch over two all the day through. No. You don't remember? Mm -mm. Did I write that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Usually if I add a ask a leading question I like should that. know that, yeah. <laughs> I should know where this is going. So fun, two tones, uh, two different tones of um, uh, linen with a little, and we do include the wool yes, for this wool one. Included. And then cute little scissor charms. Um, to make like a like a, a, a scissor fob mm -hmm. so lots of fun on that one uh should we do this one next? oh got that one yep another i'm like into little pillows this is called a vintage stitch um from the two hexes <laughs> i did name that one <laughs> anyway yeah didn't i <laughs> yes you did yeah. forgot wow honey um so hexes man i don't know and i'm like looking more at more and more hexes so yeah. a couple, other, a couple yeah. others that are the problem is is sometimes i have too many and i love this pin um it's a dimensional pin from just another button company that they made to go with this one my problem is a pin on a pin it's yeah it's it's um raised there's like a little strawberry um and then of course then like the little needle it's just amazing. Yeah. They do amazing work. Um, my problem is, is that I do, I have too many ideas and I run out of, I run out of time. Um, so, but yeah, no, I have a complete tutorial on how I finished this. And then I, I offered you both, uh, the, if you don't want to do the, the smaller hexes and, and make the, the flower, the hexy flower, you can do just one, a larger hexy. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you could even finish that round in a small hoop or something like that. So lots of options that's what i like about my things so you want to do that one the with this needle ivy thread um just a fun little needle book and i do i think if i didn't do a tutorial for that one there is a it's in the chart there is finishing instructions yes um we want to open it up and show them the stitching so they don't think i'm proposing to them <laughs> So just, I just had so much fun with that one. And um, yeah, it, it makes it, I like this kind of a needle book because um, you can insert the whole packet of needles. Mm -hmm. So, and speaking of the triple play pillows, um, when I did the live with uh, Nicole, when we were taught, when she was kicking off the tutorial, I didn't have these because they were gone on the trunk yeah. show. <laughs> I, we had all this, the seasons, but, and I've had a few people say, you know, the summer, they're very patriotic. What can I do? Can I, I want to change it. Um, I've had people that, you know, don't live in the uh, United States say, what, what can I do? These are actually, yes, they are red, white, and blue, but they're not like your traditional right. red, white, and blue because the blue is really more of tealy, turquoise. Um, but that's the fun thing about this and about Sean, um, uh, uh, Nicole's stitch along is I think people are really realizing how simple it is to change out the colors, especially in something like this, because you need, um, two blues, two reds, just two different values, a light and a dark. Um, so if you're like, say, I want to change the blue to green, just get a light and a dark green yeah. and, you know, and plug them in and it really works. So, um, here's another Oh, we got more hair. Oh, I think we got some to... You also do realize we have to go back and check all the inventory. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure we got everything. I know we did. I know so. we did. Anyway, okay, so that's another well-rounded. That's. I guess we sent two seasons. Yeah, we sent spring we and we sent summer. I think the spring one is my favorite because here, I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. That's my favorite. 
He's my favorite little birdie. That's mama bird feeding the, feeding the baby bird. And I love that quilt motif right there. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. That's my favorite one. So, whew. okay, oh, here we do this. We're getting to the bottom of the box, don't worry. Okay, so we had Let's Talk Stitching. We also have Let's Talk Quilting. Same bag pattern, different, um, different fa set of fabrics. I did make this one too. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it does include the larger sampler. I just didn't send those off on the trunk show because um, sometimes it's hard to send the larger mm -hmm. framed pieces. So I sent the bag and then a little pincushion. And there's finishing tutorials for all of that. What else? B, let's show this one. Is this the only part I sent of this one, you think? Or did I send the pillow? Okay, that's, that's charts. Okay, I think we actually are really getting to the bottom. Okay, so this is just be be more. No, just be be more. Mm -hmm. Um, and the reason why I did that is because when I first did this series, um, just there be. it was just be, and I ha it was like uh, it was back in the early days, and I did like a limited edition. Mm -hmm. We had the fabric. It was a chart pack. It had stuff in it. And then I couldn't get the fabric anymore. We sold out. Um, but people still wanted the chart. So I thought, yeah. well, I'll release the chart, but I'll add two more designs to it. Right. So these are the two designs. So Beast Corn U, fun little design. And then um, just kind of a hexagonal. And it's so funny. I, it's, I really enjoy seeing like, like even back then when I did that one, I was like into the hexagonal shape. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny to see things keep themes working out in, um, and this is super early. Speaking of themes coming back, um, OB Hive, I think you named that one too. I do. <laughs> um, Might have been a little Austin Powers reference. Yeah, there. maybe just a little bit. <laughs> so the, um, the wool hexes are included as wool felt uh -huh. and, um, it just makes a fun little, um, pillow, pincushion, whatever you want. Now I will say, um, I believe that's 32 count. That's a fabrics by Stephanie. Um, because the hexes are the shape they are, they are the size they are. You do need to stitch this one. I mean, a lot of times people change counts and whatnot, and that's usually not a problem, but with this one, to make them fit because you kind of lay in that base of back stitches and then add the hexes, um, you do need to stick to a 16 or 32 count, or you can always go purchase other hexes um, and, and a different mm -hmm. size or cut your own. Yep. Um, so anyway, that's a fun one. Whoa, we're down to the last couple. All right. Why can I never remember this? Be a pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's be a pineapple. Um, and this actually, I think, has more parts to it, but this is what we sent. Mm -hmm. I originally taught this. This was my class piece for Silver Needle for their summer event quite a few years ago. And um, gosh, that was like maybe seven or eight years ago, yeah. something mm -hmm. like that. Anyway, so they got the they got the fabric and then the, the tray base, and then we made the pink cushion, and then there was a drum uh -huh. and a scissor fob. I think so. And scissor pop was what they made in class, but just a fun, um, this goes to wild salt air. I was just going to say that goes here. Never mind. Know your own charts, Kathy. <laughs> well, I handed it to you, so. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> Here's a strawberry. Here's a strawberry. Here's the strawberry. Here's your strawberry. All right, there we go. Fun. So we have strawberries, blueberries and blackberries. And when I, we were talking about this and I said, next I want like yellow or orange, we got mm -hmm. a ton of great responses as to like what berry would be next. Yeah. So we got some good ideas to go on. Now, now you can have them. <laughs> you were holding that up and I was looking at it and I'm going. Mm -hmm. Some didn't feel right. <laughs> One of these things isn't like the other. <laughs> okay, we did this great pink. <laughs> <laughs> we are not refilming for that. Sorry, it's we just not, not happening. <laughs> so this is Wild Salt Air. Um, I dream of the sea and the wild salt air. Originally, this was done um, as a kit for um, um, Down Sunshine Lane. Yes. Um, so we had, she included the tray. 
which if you can find a tray, get it. I have no sources for it. I think Amy bought all of them there, yeah. we, you know, but you can do, I mean, you could make a tray like this. You yeah. could flat finish it. You could do so many other things to it now. Um, but anyway, and then this was before I was kind of using the magnet. So wouldn't that be nice if I just could go like that, but, yeah. but no. Um, so it had this, it had um, a pocket, a scissor pocket or a, a corner pocket, corner gauge pocket, corner gauge pocket mm -hmm. and then um, a spool. And then, and then of course right, this, um, mm -hmm. this pin cushion, which you've seen before. <laughs> I've seen that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I love these designs where, cause like, I love when the designing them when they're flat and you stitch it flat, but the way you finish it, the way it's almost like, um, like a kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. I just love seeing the way that the, the design comes together and creates an alternate pattern on the back. I'm a nerd. I know. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's it's very cool. So, yay! Is that it? I think that's it. You tell me. You're sitting yep. next to. Okay. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> so, um, so there you go. That's our library stitchers trunk show. Um, maybe hopefully you saw something you hadn't seen before, or mm -hmm. saw a model that you've got going, and uh, a whip, and maybe it gives you um, the the encouragement to keep going at it. And um, so, um, as we, the way we started the video is, you know, keep, keep attuned to the newsletter, keep attuned to the, um, to the social pages. We've, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. We've got new releases. Then we'll have new releases, um, the third set in July, and then we'll have the fourth set of those current series in mm -hmm. September. And a few other things snuck in yeah. along the way and just lots of fun stuff. You know, keep you, we got to keep you in stitches. There'll be a new video probably within the next two weeks. Yes. The new releases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My, uh, my, it is my goal. <laughs> and I, I think we'll make it for sure. Um, is to get, I think we'll make it for sure. <laughs> we'll make it. That sounded... We might for sure make it. Let me finish the thought. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, we'll make it to floss tube number 100 yet this year. Right. So we'll get there. For sure. Maybe. <laughs> For sure. Maybe. <laughs> Unless we screw up <laughs> and go, oh, forget about it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Um, and just, just you know, uh, joining in on just fun little happy hour laid back discussion. Yeah. So um, it's Friday, but I don't know. I'm going to try and maybe get this posted tomorrow or Sunday. Yep. Um, so I hope you're having a good weekend whenever you're watching it. And um, cheers. And one more cheers. Sure. We're almost done. Cheers and enjoy the stitch. <laughs>